the first of the debris from flight MS-804. Seat covers, clothing, a life jacket, the Egypt Air logo plainly visible. Finding the rest in waters up to 3,000 meters deep is a huge challenge. The flight recorder, the so-called black box, is the main target for the search. If it's shallow, divers could go bring it up. If it's in deep water, we use specific devices among them, submarines, for example. The black box records all the plane and engine's movements since the plane is turned on, till they're off or until the plane crashes. It also contains the voice cockpit recorder. The black box likely will be key to solving the mystery. But on Saturday, vital clues emerged. This is a copy of the data messages the plane automatically sent on Thursday morning before all contacts were lost. An experienced pilot explained to me what every messages mean. At 12.26 in the morning, the first errors appear. Two of the cockpit windows heat sensors report a fault and smoke in the plane's lavatory. A minute later, smoke is detected in the avionics room. It's the main chamber of the controls of the plane that is located beneath the cockpit. At 1228, the heat sensor of another cockpit window reports an error. A minute later, at 1229, the autopilot control system reports total failure and the same minute the entire control over the plane is totally lost that was the last message from egypt's air flight ms804 what these three minutes imply is that a fire took place in the avionics room the chamber below the cockpit was smoke detected in the laboratory behind the cockpit and affecting the windows of the co-pilot on the right side of the plane but it does not say exactly how the fire started. The 90 degree turn the plane took in its final moments is standard practice in an emergency to ensure a plane in trouble doesn't hit another on a standard flight path. The next step the veteran pilot told me would be for the crew to keep control and then to report the problem to air traffic control. That did not happen. Now it's up to the salvage mission to find the wreckage in these waters and the investigators to work out what went wrong. Adeline Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.